Uh, Dave, when Brennan Williams was hired, you said he was honest, upfront, professional. He interacts with people really well, and he never burns any bridges. We're really lucky to have him. Uh, how do you, you feel about him now? Has that relationship been damaged? Uh, you know, we're, we're certainly excited about the game tonight, and uh, you got a good team in the Clippers. Um, my job is to make sure uh, that we're as prepared as we can be for uh, the task in front of us uh, and to try to limit uh, as much distractions as possible uh, with our group. We're growing. Uh, we've got a long ways to go. We know that. We're happy with where we are. Uh, and there's a good vibe. And I think the, the sunshine on this team and this group of players and uh, in our city right now is as high as it's been since I've been in the NBA uh, from the outside and three years that I've been here. So. Uh, my, like I said, I'm just trying to keep the, the, the distraction to a minimum with our group. Dave, you mentioned that keeping the distractions away from your group, but just for you, do you feel distracted? Do you feel anything uh, kind of occupying your mind with things that have either been report things going on reported right now? Yeah, you know, when you sign up and, and you want to be in this business, that uh, this is a part of it. Um, you know, winning, losing, being out in front of the media three times a day, um, you know, making decisions. I love the last two minutes of a game more than anybody around. I think that's my drug and my thrill. And for that, you get to deal with some stuff, and, and I'm okay. Um, like I said, I like our group. Our, our coaching staff has been together for a long time. So, you know, we've relied on each other. We spend a lot more time together than we do with our families. And uh, I love the game, and I know that this is just part sometimes that, that comes with it. Are you pissed <clears throat> off, like he mentioned, with those distractions and kind of moving forward? Do you feel that you're in a good spot to where you and your team can move forward with free from distractions and, and be in a good place going forward? Yeah, we, we uh, you know, certainly it's, it's something that's been talked about. Um, and I look forward to, to going forward. We, we've had a nice week of practice. Uh, it's been a unifying. We had a, we had a good speaker running a speaker this week. Uh, we've kind of tied back into some of those points. Uh, that he's come up with and, and talked to our team about. And, um, excuse me, you're after the 20, point, 20 game mark now. So what does the next 20 look like? How can you best position yourself? What are the goals that we want to accomplish as a team? And I think when you start getting lasered in on that focus, um, things can be in a direction for us. Right now, I think we came in not knowing. Nobody, nobody came in and said, let's be 11 and 9, let's be 12 and 8, let's be 5 and 15. Everybody thought we'd be 5 and 15. That's fine. But we didn't know. And now here we are, and we're making some noise, so why don't we make some goals for, for ourselves and see if we can lock in on something uh, out there on the horizon. Have you talked to the players about the situation off the court and sort of what happened today <clears throat> and what's happened in the last Yeah, we, you know, we, we, uh, one of the things that we, we talked about this week with our, with our, our, our speaker that came in and, and uh, continue to try to do a better job of is you know, sharing with each other uh, our struggles and uh, tragedies uh, on and off the court with our teammates and same thing with our successes uh, and triumphs and so on the court or off the court and I'm trying to do a better job of that also and uh, the communication is, is a must and, and I think our guys are getting better at it. We've got a long ways to go because we're really young. Anything else? Thanks.